Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to establish a connection between our client and our server. So as you can see, I've created a new project over here by the name Eco Application. And inside of that, I've created two classes. One is Eco Client and the other one is Eco Server. So we'll start off by writing the server side first. Okay, now on the server side, the first thing which I'll do is I'll just print a statement, which is waiting for clients. Okay. So our, our server is going to wait for incoming clients, right? And after that, I'll create a server socket object. Okay. So this is how we create a server socket. So server socket SS is equal to new server socket. And inside that I'm passing this number. Okay. And this is our port number. So this will be the port number of our server, right? So port number is basically used uh, to identify your application on the network. Okay. So it's not just IP address, but uh, IP address will be used to identify your machine, right? But on a machine, you can have multiple applications. So how will you identify a particular application? So that is by using the port number. So here I'm passing a port number. So by doing this, we are binding the server socket object to this particular port number, right? And now this class is not uh, readily available. So we'll have to import it. Okay. So we have imported the class and it is showing us some error, which is unhandled exception type IO exception. Okay. So uh, whenever you uh, use any class, uh, which is related to sockets, you'll have to uh, use a try catch block. Okay. Or you can just simply uh, write throws exception over here. Okay. But it is always a good practice to use a try catch block. So I'll just surround these statements with a try catch. Okay. And now the error is gone. So we've created our server socket. And after that, this server socket will be waiting for incoming client connections. Okay. So how are we going to wait for client connections? So I'll just write this statement socket SOC is equal to SS dot accept. Okay. So this method accept this will be a blocking call. Okay. So when the flow of control will come over here, it will wait for incoming client connections, right? And as soon as it gets a connection, it will return a socket object and that socket object will capture it in a socket reference, right? So again, this class is not readily available. So you will ha we'll have to import it. And yes, it is done. And finally, I'll just print a statement, which is connection established. So if everything goes fine, then this statement should be displayed, right? Now let's go back to the client. Now uh, we have a, a socket on the server side, right? So similarly, we'll have to create a socket on the client side. So again, over here, the first statement, which I'll do is I'll just print client started. And after that, I'll have to create a socket object. So I'll say socket SOC is equal to new socket. And I'm passing two parameters over here. So the first parameter is the IP address of our server. And the second parameter is the port number. Okay. Now the IP address over here uh, is localhost. And that is because both our client and server are on the same machine. Okay. So we just have to enter uh, the IP address of our system. And that is localhost. You can also replace this with 127.0.0.1. Okay. So uh, in this case, I'm just writing localhost, right? And we'll have to import this class and again, surround it with a try catch, right? So I think our program is done. Now let's try running this uh, program. So we'll have to run the server application first. And that is because our server will be uh, waiting for uh, incoming clients, right? So without uh, our server, our client will not be able to uh, establish a connection. So we'll start the server first and it is waiting for clients. Now let's go back to the client and let's start it. And yes, uh, I think it is displaying connection established. So our, our program works fine. Okay. Now uh, over here, you can just uh, uh, verify it. So you can see there are two screens. One is uh, eco server and the other one is eco client. So if you go to the client, it is showing client started. And if you go to the server, okay, it is showing waiting for clients and then connection established. So our program is working fine. 
If you like my tutorials, do subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.